Greetings and welcome to the arcade. This is episode 26, Atari's Gravitar Restoration. Last year, I reacquired a Gravitar in a bulk game pickup. I recently ordered some parts from Arcade Shop and I am now ready to see if we can get this game up and running. So let's see what happens. All right, everybody. So we are now going to attempt to get the Gravitar operational today. We ran some tests last Saturday and discovered that the Wells Garner 6100 color vector monitor is working. It's operational. We also discovered that the AR2 board is operational. Um, what we found out is the board has some issues. Let me swing around front and show you what it's doing. All right, so we've got power to the game. Um, and if you notice here, we're getting two flashing red lights on the control panel. Um, now, when we, we actually use Space Duel, the Space Duel motherboard, to test the power in the AR2 board on this game. And we are getting no picture, none. So it might be the AVG chip we are thinking that's where we're going to start. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to take the board out the back. I'm going to take the board out and we are going to go back down to the arcade lab, arcade Hollywood lab. And we're going to install the AVG replacement chip and see if that will get the game going. All right, here we are down in the arcade lab for repairs. And what we're going to do Kind of a simple repair. We're going to take this old AVG chip off of the Gravitar motherboard and we are going to install the, the new replacement AVG chip from arcade that we got from Arcade Shop. So let's cross our fingers and hope that this is an easy fix for Gravitar. All right, everybody. I have installed the AVG chip into its place on the Gravitar PCB. You want to definitely double check your work and make sure the, the mini PCB replacement is installed correctly and going in the right direction on the board. You'll also want to make sure those pins are pressed into their seat. Alright, let's take this outside and check and see if our Gravitar comes back to life. Alright everybody, we've got a bit of a success here. The AVG replacement chip brought the Gravitar back to life. Uh, we do have a couple of problems though. Looks like we got some graphics glitches that I think are Wells Garner 6100 related. I think we're going to have to cap this monitor and we are also going to put the low voltage retrofit, the LV2K replacement um, kit on there to bulletproof this monitor. Uh, very, very excited when you can actually uh, make progress on a game. So we are getting there. We are getting there, making progress. All right, everybody. I have successfully pulled the Wells Garner 6100 from the Gravitar and we are going to tackle this bad boy today we are going to actually add a couple things today we are going to do a cap kit on the monitor and we're going to do the LV2K upgrade to the low voltage section so we've got our Instructions here from Arcade Shop, um, Stephen Gregory, as usual, just a wonderful, wonderful resource for this hobby. I cannot stress enough the importance that uh, Stephen Gregory and Bob Roberts, they play in uh, keeping these games going, selling parts and all kinds of stuff. So my hat's off, my friends. Okay, back to this. 
All right, everybody, here's our progress as of right now. We are in the process of replacing the transistors on the frame. Um, very important to the vector process and the health of a vector monitor. So there is quite a few of these. Um, so you got to make sure you get all of them. All right, here is, I want to show you something. Here's the LV. 2K kit where they, I think they released it in 2014. And this is what is going to be replaced. All the components you see right above that fuse, pretty much all the components that you see right there except for the connector. And um, this is a very um, important replacement. Um, th all these parts fail. And this monitor just wasn't designed very well um, no offense it's a it's beautiful when you have these working these color vectors are just gorgeous uh, you got star wars space duel gravatar tempest quantum major havoc um, just i love the color vector games i think a lot of collectors out there really really cherish their vectors but they're a pain in the ass <laughs> they are a pain in the ass to keep running i have taken off all of the components of this little spot here where the LV2K kit is going to go. Um, we're going to be right back after a brief intermission. All right, everybody. It's the moment of truth. We have the cap kit installed and the mod fixed up. And now we're going to see if this worked. Cross your fingers. We have the monitor reinstalled. Um, let's swing around the back. Right now we're going to flip the switch. And let's see if we have a, a working Gravitar. So that's good. The LED lights are functioning on the LV2K. All right, everybody, we have a victory. We've got a working Gravitar. Looks like our hard work paid off today. Very excited. We're gonna, looks like we're gonna have to do a couple of uh, adjustments there on the monitor, but we have a very nice looking Gravitar upright by Atari. A very successful project. Um, tough, I would say it's very tough. If you can tackle the Wells Garner 6100 vector monitors and the amplifones, I would say you're doing well in the hobby if you can get to this point where you can get these working because they're very difficult to keep running and to troubleshoot sometimes. So, very excited. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Arcade Hollywood. Wanted to thank everybody who has subscribed and watched this channel. Lots of great things coming up. Once again, wanted to give a shout out to my good friend Mike Miller and his band Origami for providing me with all the excellent music for this channel. You can check out Origami at origami.tumblr.com. Coming soon to Arcade Hollywood, we will have footage from Replay FX 2016. A rare Enigma 2 arcade game review. Footage of the AVGR Expo in Chicago, Illinois. Arcade Super Awesome. And a tour of Doc Mac's Galloping Ghosts Arcade. This is a great time to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget you can check me out on Twitter. Arcade Hollywood at Hollywood Arcade. We are also out there on Facebook and Google+. Please email me with any comments or questions at discohollywood1 at gmail.com. Okay, this does it for another episode of Arcade Hollywood. Until next time, rock on!